In this video I'm going to talk about the Military Padded Helmet Bag by Brigade Quartermaster. It's a, I guess you could call it tactical nylon um, bag. I don't, I haven't read anything stating that it's Cordura, so I'm going to assume that it's, it's not Cordura brand. But it seems um, well made, well constructed. It's by Brigade Quartermaster. It's a pretty large bag. Um, honestly, I think it's pretty close in size to my three-day assault pack. Um, it's just that instead of being a backpack, it has two short carry handles. The interior is basically one large open space with padding. It's um, very thin padding. Um, just enough is supposed to protect um, the types of helmets that uh, pilots use in the military. <clears throat> see people walking around with these um, on base all the time, mostly in green. And I saw this black one and I really wanted it. thought it sort of went well with my other gear. Uh, so I could fill up my my EDC backpack, the Mystery Ranch 3D Assault Pack with whatever else, uh, you know, my uniform and boots. And then if I had to carry a bunch of packages to the post office, or packages and my lunch or whatever, I could put it all into here. And I, I wouldn't be competing for like shoulder strap space, like uh, say a, a messenger bag or something along those lines would. Uh, i just carry it in my hand. It has uh, two exterior pockets. They're secured both by um, a fastener, a button, and a Velcro, as I'm sure you could hear. I just threw a SB in there. But these are pretty substantial. You could uh, fit a pair of running shoes in here easily. And that's just one side. You have two sides and they don't take up interior uh, storage space at all. On the interior, the black bag, I'm not sure how well this is going to show up, you do have uh, two interior pockets, kind of on the, the corners, the sides. And they go pretty deep as well. I guess to about, about here. So, and all this is a pretty well made bag, um, it could certainly protect something uh, like a helmet or whatever you might feel like throwing in there uh, from abrasion, scratches, scuffs, whatever. It's a very um, soft nylon material here. Looks to be sort of ripstop, has a ripstop pattern in it. The zipper is pretty well made, it's a YKK zipper. Um, a lot of people would probably remove this and run paracord through here instead so they don't have to listen to it. I'll probably just do the paracord wrap where you go through this hole and cross and go out this hole and then have a little bit of length uh, with a knot at the end. It has a lobster claw sewn in, an attachment point. Not really sure what I'm going to use this for, if I use it for anything, but it doesn't hurt to have doesn't make any sound. I would have liked to, s to have seen the handles be a little bit more thickly padded. Um, I guess I could do a King Cobra stitch uh, paracord weave over them if that was something I was interested in doing. But for a $25 bag, not really sure if I need to do that. Just sort of uh, inexpensive and utilitarian. I like it quite a bit. And I don't really see it getting a lot of love in the tactical community. Um, maybe that's something that will change with this video. So, thanks for watching.